सो वाट्स अप माई लॉज एंड लेडीज वेलकम टू डेज वीडियो सो टूडे इज नॉट अ रोस्ट वीडियो I was taking rest for the for today, and I was thinking of making something for tomorrow. But I thought that this video is a bit like not a bit, but it is needed to make this video because this video is not related to some comedy roast, not even some information. This is something serious that has happened on seventeen January two thousand and eighteen in Katwa city. Yes, people, I'm definitely talking about that Asifa rape case. so this asifa rape case usually happened on 17 january 2018 and this came into headlines when uh, eight hindu men were arrested on this total rape case and then hindu people started protesting that it is wrong for arresting hindu men like i can't even understand why people are including racism and discrimination and all these things when a life of 8 year old girl has been like they have killed her they have raped her and how do you even think and how do you even show an act of mercy on these people when these people have done such brutal act i can't even understand so let's read this news lines which has been posted on india today uh, so i am reading from the bbc news let's read for it The brutal gang rape and murder of an 8-year-old has sparked outrage and anger across India. The body of Asifa Banu, who belonged to a Muslim nomadic tribe, was found in a forest on 17 January near Katwa city of Indian administered Kashmir. The story made headlines this week when Hindu right wing groups protested over the arrest of 8 Hindu men. The case has become a religious flashpoint in an are already polarized indian region the men the police have arrested the men the police have arrested include a retired government official four police officers and a minor of all of them belong to a local hindu community that has been involved in a land dispute with muslim nomads outrage grew after two ministers from the hindu nationalist bhartiya janata party bjp attended a rally in support of accused men the child rape and murder that has kashmir on this was delhi gang rape india's me too movement so i'm not going to talk about that all delhi gang rape but uh, i'm just going to talk about that how do you even think of including a religious fight and killing and raping a 8 year old girl that is such a brutal act like you can't even think of doing something like this for taking a land this is such a brutal act and even i am ashamed of myself because i am doing so late i am doing this video so late like we are all sleeping and we are not even taking some movement against it and these people like how can you even protest in the favor of accused men how that is even possible for bjp okay we are not supposed to like according to guidelines we are not supposed to take any political decision we are not supposed to side with any political party we are not supposed to take any decision for making a youtube video but how do you even how can you protest in the side of those accused men how can you do that like what is more important the life of eight people or a girl who is dead and raped how can you protest in against those people and yesterday i was watching news even the lawyers are protesting in the favor of accused men how that is even possible and eight and include and in those eight men there are already like a, a government officer four police officer how can they even think of doing something like this it's like killing that girl raping that girl that she is not even included in that uh, land dispute why are you doing that why are you doing that to that girl i'm sorry but i can't even say like say these things now right now so how can you even think of doing something like to that girl that girl was raped that girl was murdered at least we are being hindu we are ram bhaks we should literally take support of that girl we should provide some support to the family of that girl there is nothing family there is nothing discrimination there is no religion when a case like this happen we should not focus on religion we are living in 21st century there is no thing called religion when something th like this happens 
we should be united and we should like give so 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 brutal so brutal punishment to these people that everyone should fear before doing something like this i'm sorry i'm stammering a lot but i can't i can't even imagine how, that how can people do like this seriously so i know even i am late even everyone is late that we are focusing on this thing like what today is april we are focusing this thing like after 3 months that is such a shameful thing for all of us such a shameful thing but we should not like stop right now at least we can't do something right now sitting here so sushma swaraj has started a petition on signing for that i know uh, that there is nothing included there is nothing money or thing included in this petition i have uh, started a petition by using my email account and uh, you people just have to sign just you have to log in through that link into that you just have to use your email account you just have to sign that petition for supporting asifa and has uh, for supporting asifa's family who has fled from the village because of all that news focusing so people please please i beg you i request you please sign that petition it is not related to money no money related stuff is being taken into account in this petition thing so please sign that petition please share the petition as much as you can i am even sharing the petition on my whatsapp groups i am even sharing the petition on my instagram i am sharing the petition on all the social media that i have please people sign that petition i am making this video that so you even you people can sign this petition the link is in the description box please send the petition and please please don't even how can you how can those people protest in the side of those accused men i can't even imagine so people thanks for watching the video and please support asifa it's a like we are living in 21st century there should not be a, anything called religion discrimination right now so please support asifa thank you